I'm going to practice decision making through the Charleston for American style using National Mahjong League rules. During the Charleston, your hand can really change. And sometimes I'll start out in one category and at the end be in a completely different spot. So I like to test my instincts by doing an exercise I call Charleston Chain Reaction. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to say that we are east for this exercise. So we'll get 14 random tiles and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Okay, I always like to start with multiples. We have a seven dot. Seven dot, we're gonna build around this. For the seven dot, we could maybe play six, seven, white. If we're gonna keep the white, I wanna keep this green. We could maybe play a pair hand, the news pair hand, or north and south with sevens. These are all kind of long shots, but I want to give myself options. Since we're keeping a seven, we could maybe play something consecutive. There's a gap with no eight, but I think I'll keep it. Let's see if we can get a pass out of these. How about one of each suit? That would be my first pass. We're going to take a photo so we can recreate this. Okay, we're going to do the first pass. Take a photo. Look at what we got. Six, eight. Now, two, three, three, I would not pass that. Because we have a six, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, I think we could probably give up the green and pass these three. Take a photo. Let's keep the seven because if we're playing consecutive run, six, seven, eight, nine would be the range. Four numbers in a range especially six through nine. There is one hand under consecutive run that spans five numbers in mixed suits, but we're one number too far from the middle. We would need five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be the fourth hand down. Okay, so I think so as not to pass the very valuable white dragon. Also, we could maybe use it here. I think we should go ahead and give up a wind. Let's pass those three. Take a photo. We got a keeper. Six, seven, eight, nine. And we have Joker bait. Let's see if we can keep that. Okay, let's pass these three. A little risky with the one three and one suit. We'll take a photo of that. We got two keepers, seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Even this eight here. Well, I'm not gonna pass that for sure. I think we have six, seven, eight, nine. Leveraging all the multiples. Six, seven, eight, nine. This would be the second hand down under consecutive run. For an option, we do have all the sevens. Seven, eight, nine, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's keep the eight because we could make, if we have a five dot, we could make that fourth hand down work. Let's go ahead and break these up and pass these three. We have lots of options. Let's risk passing that white dragon since we have no gaps with our first choice. Okay, we have tiles we can pass. We don't need any of those. We did get a flower, I would hold it. And we have tiles we can pass. Six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's pass these three for optional cross. Oh, we got the white back. Six, seven, white. We got a pair of joker bait there and a discard. So we're in between, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be for the third hand down or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Clearly that is the better choice. The other option would be five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a gap, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I would hold these maybe even hold the white in case this came in. We would have two joker bait there though. I still think six, seven, eight, nine is best. Start by discarding that. A lot of discards, six discards. Even though there's no gaps, that's a lot of discards. We would need an eight crack and a nine crack or jokers to help us get set, but we could pung and pung here. The convention is Pung Pung Kong Kong for that second hand. So let's look and see if there was a better option. Maybe the news pair hand or maybe like numbers with sevens. I'm going to reset. That's what we started with right there. So I'm thinking news pair hand or like numbers with sevens, in which case I would keep the dragons. So we could pass three, one, nine, one of each suit. One, two, three. It's gonna be risky no matter how, how we shake it up here. Okay. I'm going to build the Charleston now. Okay, there's the Charleston. So let's pass these three. Okay, we got a six and an eight. Six, seven. I would keep the eight. One, two, three. Ugh. That's really risky. Let's break that up. No, uh, let's push forward. Risky, risky. There's a seven. Seven, three, joker bait, eight. Oh, eight, two, green. Oh man, that's a horrible pass. Break it up a little bit. So we have news or keep the dragons for maybe like numbers and start giving up the winds. Let's break up the two eight and pass north three eight. Focus on like numbers with greens and dragons, not greens, dragons. Here we go. East one nine, not helpful. Let's pass. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, seven, eight, eight still look at all that consecutive run in there east west three seven 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 i don't think we need these eights really 
Let's break this up. Like numbers with dragons or six, seven, white. Consecutive run, maybe. Six, six, seven, six, seven. Concealed under consecutive run might work. Let's pass those three. Flower and a six. Six, seven, six, seven, consecutive run. We do have tiles to pass. I don't want to pass the two eight together. Let's break it up and pass a dragon. Whoa, Joker bait. I think we could probably get rid of. Okay, five discards, which is not far off of where we were before. We were six at six discards, but definitely the consecutive run category. This is a completely different hand, but consecutive run worked either way. The second hand down was the first choice. This particular result is the concealed hand. We have no gaps. A little bit of weakness here. Really, we do have six discards because we can't use that seven. Six, seven, six, seven. So we do have six discards again. I would hold this as joker bait. Probably discard in this order here. Dragon, two, year hand, seven east, and then hold the joker bait as long as possible. If you would have done anything differently for that exercise, write it in the comment section below. Six discards, that's pretty bad, but there were no gaps with either result, which is good. Got to take the good with the bad and vice versa. But I think these, both of those may have been winners, depending on the drawing, of course, and then any joker bait opportunities. Those can always be helpful. Hold on to your joker bait. If you want to know more about how joker bait works, look for links below the video. This term, joker bait, was coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. Really great resource. I'll put a link below the video for that too. So big shout out to Tom Sloper of Sloperama. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.